Hey there, Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver. I am here with Andy Sigler, founder of Vive Float Studio. And we're here to talk about a little bit of all of the amazing things that she's doing. And then believe it or not, she is one of the most Zen people I've talked to. We're, so this is early morning and she's just a calming, um, just human presence right now. And I want to know all about what this woman is doing <laughs> to stay this way and how people like me who are more high adrenaline can, you know, take it down a little bit. So Andy, <laughs> Andy, we'll start by just learning a little bit about who you are and what you do, and then we'll talk about some of your tips. Okay, that sounds great. So um, I am Andy, of course, as you introduced, I own Vive Float Studio, and um, we are um, really one of the first um, in the industry to bring together many different modalities or services that are available to individuals seeking both mental and physical restoration. Mm -hmm. So we work uh, through different modalities, as I mentioned, such as float therapy, cryotherapy, vibrational acoustic therapy, halotherapy, um, just a variety, full spectrum infrared sauna. We've just got a variety of services that really have one purpose, and that is to simultaneously uh, create space for a person to heal physically, but also have a reprieve from the sort of fast paced world that we live in. Uh, so it creates that simultaneous mental reprieve as well as a physical restoration. So that's really our predominant focus is to care for both the mind and the body. Some people come in absolutely clear that they really need some mental work and a little yeah. bit of retuning. Um, but a majority of people start out with a physical um, focus and then over the course of time find that really if they don't care for their mind, they don't really care for their body ultimately. And so people are beginning to see the balance that um, we have to care for both. Uh, and they're both yeah. as important. So yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I learned a lot when we did earlier in, I think it was this year, 2020 feels like three years. <laughs> I know. It's so true. We did, we did a quick, we get, we did a giveaway with you all. And yes. I remember reading all the comments and people that were talking about their experiences with things. And I thought, wow, this stuff is amazing. People really get a lot out of it, especially yes. The because of the name, they were, were talking about float tanks a lot and people yes. and float experiences. They're not always tanks, but yes. people talked about the transformations that they get from that. And I was yes. like, I've always been afraid of being alone with my thoughts, but there were so many people that were like, you need to go and do this. You need to do this thing. It's changed my life. And so yeah. it sounds like a really amazing tool. <laughs> it, it really is. And what I love about Vive is that we have we have different entry points. So someone like you, who really is kind of, like you said, an adrenaline person, mm -hmm. um, we have different modalities that kind of baby step you into float therapy. So you don't have to start out with float. The beautiful thing about float is you really decide when you want to go sensory free. So you could have music the entire time. Oh, okay. You could, you could have lights on the entire time and then eventually remove one sensory yeah. engagement and then the other. I love that. But vibrational acoustic therapy is probably the most uh, hidden gem. Um, and that uses beautiful instrumental music um, in sync with vibration. And so you're laying on a waterbed concept. It's quite fabulous, oh. but that'll baby step you. Okay. So it'll be perfect for you. Okay, you nice. <laughs> yeah, so next time we'll have to get you to try that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me about it, you know, so there's, there's a lot of people, myself included, that have struggled to, you know, do deal with all of the, all the, I mean, social media is just too much. Mm -hmm. All the things we have to figure out is a lot. We, some people are overwhelmed. I've been overwhelmed and we let it get to us. We don't know yeah. how to decompress or, you know, put it away. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you kind of share with people to help us all get back to, back into a state of balance and, mm -hmm. Um, feeling that humanity that you are kind of exuding to me right now. Yeah. You know, I, this is going to be hard to hear for some people, um, but there really, really does have to be a break from overstimulation. The TVs, the computers, phones, just all of it is really way too much for our um, well-being. 
And so we often recommend that even like I mentioned earlier, if you start out with baby steps, um, do that. That still does some stimulation, meaning you've got music, you've got vibration. It's not just all of a sudden sensory free. But you really have to, in my opinion, whether it's from your home or at our studio, um, you really do have to find some space to breathe mentally. Um, and I really think that is what's helping people kind of come back to balance and recenter. We have an, an absolutely fabulous area in our studios called the Quiet Center. Mm -hmm. And we have these beautiful aqua fireplaces and organic tea bars and cozy comfy chairs. And people just come in and spend time there pre or post a service because we yeah. ache. I think we really don't know how much we ache for silence until yeah. you actually start to try it. And then all of a sudden you start to crave silence. Our memberships, they include the quiet center with or without a service. Nice. If you, we have people come in, they'll just hang out in the quiet center, do a little bit of quietness, uh, process a presentation, mm -hmm. you name it. But I think that probably would be my biggest tip. Even if it's from home, what would it look like to spend just three to five minutes with simple quietness? Um, and even if you lay on the floor um, and just kind of lay there and even a slight beta nap, which is half awake, half asleep, that's yeah. so restorative to the mind. And I think that's what's going to end up bringing us back into balance. So Yeah, that's good good advice. One of the things that I've been trying to do because I realized that some of what was giving me that over overstressed was also just paying too much att attention to news and attunement to that. So I stopped myself. It took a week, Yeah. but I had to tell myself I'm not allowed to wake up or go to sleep to news. Yes. So I had to stop scrolling. People called it doom scrolling these days. <laughs> yeah. I had to stop doom scrolling the minute I wake up and before I go to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I can do it in the middle of the day if I want to, but not yeah. in those first and last moments of my day. And that made the biggest transition. It's almost like I can process life better if I'm not taking that in from the beginning right. of the moment. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah. Tell no, me I totally... Yeah. <laughs> yes, I completely agree. And I think, you know, good for you for, for challenging yourself. Um, and then I would give you another tip, which you probably already do. Um, and that is the gratitude journal. Mm. That's that. I little, don't do that. Okay. Well, I <laughs> encourage you to add that someday. Okay. And I'm not extremely faithful. So know that I, you know, I just know the value. So I don't understand why I skip days. But boy, I tell you, going to bed with gratitude on your heart, it really does something to your sleep. It's amazing. Um, so I love that you're trying that. I think that's fabulous. And what I would say to anyone listening, which we hope are lots, I think there is something valuable in remembering that we're not asking you to turn the TV off and stop looking at your phone and all of that, but then doing a workout. Yeah. I'm not, a, I don't, I want you to really think about what would it look like to literally give the body and the mind simultaneously a time to just restore, not exercising, not doing a pose, literally the dead man's pose is the most you're allowed to do, mm -hmm. you know, on the floor. It's really a powerful form of restoration. So three minutes, five minutes, then 10 minutes, you'll work your way up to where you crave it. So yeah, I'm excited nice. for you. I love your baby steps. Thank you. <laughs> yes, of course. So tell us about anything coming up and how people can visit one of your studios or get in touch with um, you and your team. Yes. Well, um, we have studios in uh, Cherry Creek, Denver, of course. We also have a studio in Frisco, Summit County, Colorado. And then we have another one in Chicago. So if anybody's visiting oh, Chicago, nice. come see us. <laughs> um, we do have a kind of a shared uh, portion of the membership. So you can have benefits at any of the, um, of the studios when you're visiting uh, from out of town. But um, so vivefloatstudio.com. We have a kind of an exciting um, campaign that we're starting called Back to Balance um, that will go uh, into effect about the middle of October. Um, and it really is for two months, uh, we're going to do a campaign where we're asking people to come in six times over that eight week period um, and really try to kind of, as we mentioned, baby step our way into finding the value in silence 
and restoration. And again, you can baby step yourself in there, um, but you'll see that campaign on our website uh, coming up live here in the next few weeks. Um, and it's a great opportunity, a great financial opportunity. We felt like this was the time to extend um, some of our best pricing to everyone. Uh, really for mental health and physical restoration, as I mentioned. So keep an eye out for that uh, at vivefloatstudio.com. Excellent. Thanks for sharing that. I'm so glad I had to spend, had the opportunity to spend the morning with you. It's people like you that make my morning better because your <laughs> energy, even over a Zoom chat, your energy takes over mine and kind of calms Yay. me a little bit. So. Yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, I'm so glad we got to chat this morning. What a great yes. morning. For both yes. of us. All right. Well, good luck with everything that you're doing. Thanks again. You're so welcome. Nice chatting with you.